It is time for us to have our communion. Yeah. You know the announcements. I'm going to have to reiterate on you already know where they are. But just remember there is no Bible study this Tuesday night because I want you to vote. Amen, Pastor. I don't want you to say, well, Pastor, I ain't going to vote because, you know, he was in Bible study and I, I was a had to be there. But I ain't never seen you in Bible study before. <laughs>
Some of us have already committed. We've already committed to the covenant. So I ask God to forgive us for our sins and then make it a priority to keep this covenant that we're speaking out to the Lord, witnessing to each other. Amen? Amen. It was Passover for the Jews, the Jewish community, the Hebrews. God had told Moses to tell the people, take lamb's blood, hang it over the doors. Paint it where the death angel, when it comes by, it didn't know not to stop by that house. Because surely every firstborn of every man and beast is going to die. But when I see my blood of the Lamb, the death angel is going to pass over. I don't want you all in that house just sitting around. I want you all to be praying. I want you to be eating some bitter herbs. I want you to be eating some bread with no leaven. Then you're going to remember that as a holiday, if you will. A holy day. Then Jesus comes on the scene. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. He said, I will wash in my blood. So those of us that know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the same as the blood was on the door seat. So is the blood of Jesus Christ on us. So when judgment comes, you don't have to worry about a second death. You, you are already dead, but yet you're still alive. You died then when you leave this body you're going to sleep never to die again can I ask you a question can I ask you a question are you covered in this blood aren't you glad about that That no matter what you've done, listen, some of us have done some horrifying things in our lives. You ain't fooling me. Everybody don't know what we've done in our lives, but God knows. Even after salvation. But the one thing you can rest on is if you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, all your sins have been washed away. That's not the continuing sin. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? No. He told the woman who was caught in the dodgy gold and sin no more. Told Mary Magdalene, go and sin no more. That's the worst thing. Come on. Said that. That means that once we give our lives to Christ, and I know it's convenient time, you're gonna get it. But you need this. As bad as you might not want to hear. Jesus is the one who forgives. 
convicts us for our sins. Let's not take this table for granted. Because if we take it lightly, you're going to find yourself in trouble with the Lord. That's, that's, that's the word. That's the word. Now how do we get it right? With a sincere heart, you say, Lord, forgive me. With a sincere heart, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. You know you struggle. There's a difference from struggling and willful sin. Entire battle game. You don't be caught with that. 